SpaceX just dropped $17 billion on some Spectrum rights, a game-changing move for Starlink's direct-to-device broadband services. So is it now game over for AST Space Mobile, Starlink's only real competitor, or does this move actually play into AST's hands? In this video we'll break down what the deal was, how useful that Spectrum really is, and what this really means for both Starlink and AST Space Mobile. So here's the headline, SpaceX is buying Spectrum licenses from Echostar in a deal worth around $17 billion. To complete the deal, SpaceX has offered Echostar $8.5 billion in cash, as well as an additional $8.5 billion in SpaceX stock. Elon Musk's company is also helping to clear around $2 billion of debt held by Echostar. Plus, customers of Echostar's Boost Mobile will soon be able to access Starlink's direct-to-sell services. This monster deal will secure Starlink access to Echostar's full portfolio of AWS 4 and H-Block radio spectrum frequencies in the United States, along with Global Mobile Satellite Service, or MMS, spectrum licenses. SpaceX is paying a premium because it knows how valuable this spectrum could be. Spectrum is the invisible real estate that allows your phone to communicate with cell phone towers, and now with satellites too. Without Spectrum, space-based direct-to-device broadband services simply couldn't exist. If you watched our August monthly AST Space Mobile news update, you'll know that this latest sale to SpaceX follows another huge deal made by Echostar. AST Space Mobile's partner AT&T was also busy buying Spectrum in August, spending $23 billion to acquire some of Echostar's mid-band and low-band Spectrum in the United States. So why is Echostar selling its Spectrum rights in multi-billion dollar deals? Well, Echostar acquired the rights to much of its Spectrum well over a decade ago, and since then it hasn't done a whole lot with it. In the United States, the Federal Communications Commission, also known as the FCC, regulates electronic communications, and is keen to ensure that these valuable radio spectrum frequencies are being put to good use. When Echostar acquired these rights, there were arguably no serious players in the direct-to-device broadband market. Fast forward to today, and SpaceX and AST Space Mobile are both competing to bring real services to market. This battle isn't going to take place in several years' time. It's already happening, right now. Given this competitive shift, the FCC was keen to see this spectrum deployed more effectively, which meant putting it in the hands of a player capable of using it. SpaceX has the cash, the rockets, and the ambition to be that player, and this spectrum buy is a move to prove that. On paper, SpaceX now has the rights to this spectrum, but there's a catch. Those rights are primarily in the United States. They don't just automatically extend to Europe, Asia, Africa, or anywhere else in the world. Every region has its own regulators, its own rules, and SpaceX will have to prove itself in each location in order to gain the rights that it needs to run its services. Why does this matter? Well, if you're operating a constellation that serves the US by the nature of how satellites orbit the Earth, most of the time, most of your satellites will be above other countries. It'd be a massive wasted opportunity to have this tech dormant in orbit for most of the day. Which is why SpaceX will be looking to launch services across the world, not just in the United States. Europe looks like it might be one of SpaceX's toughest markets to crack. While there are many Europeans who are pro-SpaceX and support Elon Musk's vision, there is also a lot of anti-Musk sentiment. The European Union is already concerned over the influence Elon Musk has. Regulators are also unlikely to look kindly at the way SpaceX is designing its Starlink to device network. SpaceX is planning to build its own network that will be capable of competing directly with incumbent mobile network operators, or MNOs. Sure, in the early days, SpaceX will partner with other providers, like it has done with T-Mobile in the United States, but mutual partnerships don't appear to be Elon's long-term vision for Starlink services. Here's a clip of SpaceX's CEO speaking at the All-In Summit 2025. 
Elon, is your vision for this that instead of you know having an AT and T account or and then roaming when you're in the UK or you're in India, it's just we could have one direct deal with Starlink. It works all over the world. That basically we don't need a yeah. regional carrier. We have a global carrier, and that would be you. Uh, that that would be one of the options. To be clear, we're we're not going to put the other carriers out of business. They're still going to be around because they they own a lot of spectrum. But but yes, you'll you should be able to have a Starlink like you have like you have an AT and T or T-Mobile or Verizon or whatever. You should be, you you could have a you know account with Starlink that uh, works with your you know Starlink antenna at home with uh, free Wi-Fi as well as on your phone. Could you buy some uh, carriers to have more spectrum? <laughs> Maybe you could um, buy Verizon? Not out of the question, I suppose, if, if, <laughs> if that may happen. So how does AST Space Mobile's offering compare? Well, while SpaceX is talking about buying rivals and offering a competing service, AST has been designing its solution since day one to work with the incumbent MNOs. While AST has also been securing access to Spectrum, it's not done this to compete, but to complement the services of its terrestrial partners. AST Space Mobile's tech uses what's known as a bent pipe architecture. This means signals come down one end of the pipe towards the satellite and are then sent back down the other end towards the ground station with minimal processing taking place on board the satellite. The real processing takes place on the ground, using the infrastructure of AST Space Mobile's terrestrial partners. Think of AST's Space Mobile satellites like giant Wi-Fi range extenders in space. Just like AST satellites, a Wi-Fi range extender isn't processing your data, it's simply passing it along, with a bit of amplification to help it on its way. Starlink, by contrast, is building a parallel system, an actual rival network. SpaceX's tech uses regenerative architecture, meaning once a signal is received, it's then processed by the satellites and routed accordingly. Starlink service isn't extending an existing network, it's creating a brand new one. Launching a rival space-based offering that competes directly with existing MNOs is likely a big red flag for regulators around the world. By contrast, supporting and enhancing the service of existing domestic providers is much more desirable. Building infrastructure that integrates seamlessly with existing networks isn't AST's only advantage. It also has local support on its side, with over 50 MNO partnerships around the world. By contrast, Starlink currently has less than 10. In Europe specifically, AST's joint venture with Vodafone, known as Satco, is based in Luxembourg, and this local presence is another huge advantage. The European Union has already stated that sovereignty will be critical for any new players in the space-based broadband market. If there's one thing this $17 billion deal proves, it's that the total addressable market for space-based connectivity is absolutely massive. SpaceX wouldn't be spending this kind of money if it didn't think the demand was real. There are billions of devices globally using mobile networks, so to be able to offer seamless connectivity pretty much anywhere on Earth is a massive opportunity. Every move SpaceX makes to validate the market actually strengthens AST's case. It tells investors, regulators and mobile operators that this isn't a niche experiment. It's not a bent pipe dream, it's the future of mobile connectivity. AST Space Mobile no longer has to convince the world this market exists. SpaceX just did it for them. If you're still watching, you probably enjoy our content, so you're exactly who we've designed our new YouTube membership options for. Click the join button and you could get space mobile emojis to use in the comments, updates on new videos we're working on, as well as early access to our latest content, and much, much more. Click join to see what's on offer.